Hello and welcome to part two of uh, Transmission by Share. Uh, today I uh, shall be looking at uh, the transformation metrics for Share. And I hope you watched part one. Um, you need to have watched part one to follow what I'm doing here. Uh, finally, I hope you enjoy the music at the end. Okay, a black canvas, and if we draw in our triangle at 50110 and 74, uh, if, if, if we then say that our displacement from the 74 arc, from the 74 vertex is 8, and the distance from the invariant line, this time the x axis, to our vertex uh, 74, the, the distance from our vertex 74 to the x axis is 4. If you now divide this displacement by 4, you get a scale factor of 2. So, our transform triangle is as shown in red. Now, don't forget that on the invariant line, nothing moves because the y value is 0. Okay. Now, let's see if this is confirmed using metrics. Now, the identity matrix is 1001. Uh, the unit matrix on the x-axis is 1, 0, and the unit matrix on the y-axis is 0, 1. So, when we do our transformation, uh, because we are moving in the x direction, that will now change our unit matrix from 1, 0 to 2, 1 in this case, because our, our, our scale factor is 2. Now, when you do your straightforward multiplication using the uh, matrices, you find that the first uh, our 5, 0 point remains at 5, 0, because 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 0 is 0, 5 plus 0 is 5. Uh, same applies to 11, 0. Now for the 7, 4 vertex, 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus 7 will give us 15. So in effect, the uh, transformation matrix has confirmed what we got in our triangle. Now, as before, we start with a, a blank canvas, as before, so our triangle is the same at 5, 0, 11, 0, and 7, 4. And uh, this time round, uh, making the uh, a displacement to be 12, uh, the distance from the 7, 4 vertex to the invariant line is 4. If you divide uh, 12 by 4, you get 3. So our scale factor is 3. Uh, the green triangle is the triangle after transformation by shear. Okay, now let's see if we can confirm that using our matrix. Again, the unit, the, sorry, not unit, but the, the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. And because we've got a scale factor of 3, the identity matrix now becomes 1, 0, 3, 1. And if you multiply the respective vertices or the, the coordinates of the respective vertices by the the, by the shear uh, matrix, and uh, you should get um, 5011194. So, in effect, that confirms what you got in the green triangle. Okay, as before, another blank canvas and our usual triangle of at 5011074. Now, this time round, my displacement has moved to the left hand side. So if we say our displacement is 6, the distance from the 7, 4 vertex to the invariant line is still 4. If you divide 6 by 4, you get 1.5. But because we've transformed our triangle to the left hand side, the scale factor is now minus 1.5. Hope that makes sense. Now, let's see if that is confirmed using our identity matrix. Now, our identity matrix is now 1, 0 and minus 1.51. 1. Now, if you multiply that by the uh, various um, coordinates or the vertices, 
we end up with uh, 501014. So in effect, our 74 vertex has now been transformed to 14 by uh, shear. I hope that makes sense. Right, now just to hurry things up a bit, um, our triangle has now moved from uh, the invariant line by two units upwards. Okay, so the new vertices will be at 5, 2, 11, 2, 7, 6. Uh, the distance from the 7, 6 vertex to the invariant line is still 6. Uh, if I say that the displacement from 7, 6 to our, our new triangle, the transform triangle, the distance is 12. If you divide 12 by 6, you get 2. So our scale factor is 2. Now, if that is correct, uh, uh, if you look at the 5, 2 vertex, the distance from there to the invariant line is 2, and if our scale factor is 2, the displacement has got to be 2 times 2, which is 4. So the point 5, 2 now moves to 9, 2. Now, the same applies to uh, the 11, 2 vertex that moves to 15, 2. Now, let's see if this is confirmed using the transformation matrix. Again, the 1001 uh, identity matrix now changes to 1021 because our scale factor is 2. Now, if you multiply that by the, uh, the vertices on the triangle, uh, we end up with uh, 9252 and 196. So that has actually confirmed what you did by uh, simple arithmetic. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now as before, our uh, new triangle has moved upwards to the line, or the base has moved at the line um, y is equal to 2. So now uh, we are now uh, transforming our triangle to the left hand side, so the shear is the left hand side. And if we, again, uh, our displacement will be 6. And the distance from the vertex 7, 6 to the invariant line is still 6. So if you divide 6 by 6, the scale factor is 1. Okay. So let's see if what we've got here is confirmed by our transformation matrix we should now be minus 1. Minus 1 because we're moving to our left-hand side. So if you multiply that by the uh, various coordinates of the vertices, we end up with what we've got here. And that's actually, that confirms what we got by just by simple addition. I hope all that makes sense. Thank you for listening and please get in touch. Uh, if you've got any comments to make, I'll be very grateful to hear from you. Okay? Hope you enjoy the music and, and I'll see you sometime. Have a good day.